everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a collective David's Tea and Tivana mini haul. I don't have a lot to share with you, but these are some items that I ordered back in January. Just getting around to um, filming and showing you what I got. This should not be a lengthy video because my order was small. These were things that were um, a part of both companies, uh, winter closeout type of sale online. David's Tea didn't cost me more than $45. I want to say like 40 ish and some change. So I really uh, lucked out there. One of the items in which I ordered, um, they had sent this in my box, just basically apologizing and saying that um, something that I wanted, unfortunately, had sold out or whatever. And they refunded me that particular portion of my money. Tivana, um, similar situation. Both of them happened to me like that. Um, I had ordered a Christmas sampler of some type and that sold out. I was really looking forward to that too. And it oversold and I was refunded that money as well. David's Tea gives you three samples and now they allow you to choose or if you really don't know what you want, there is an option where you can allow them to pick it for you as they used to do prior to allowing us to choose what we would like. I picked cold 911. I've heard a lot of good things about that. It's just recently feeling poorly and I didn't even think to use this particular tea. So I need to put this somewhere where I can see it. But cold 911. Hangover helper because I do have my drinks periodically through the month. I normally don't experience a hangover because I do try to know my own personal limit and not exceed that. It's not about, you know, it's not about that when, when you take a sip. But in the event, you know, I have a, a drink or a cocktail that I've never had before and I end up having a reaction to it the following day. I thought that tea would come in handy. And then I picked strawberry rhubarb parfait. So those are the three samples. One of the teas, this is a two ounce bag, 57 grams of gingerbread cookie. And this is um, a Monte blend, rubus, green, um, green rubus, honey bush, cinnamon bark, cur currants, candied pineapple, crystallized ginger, maple sugar, white chocolate, Hydrogenated palm kernel oil, whey, milk, mono, and diglyceride, I guess, soy, lithiums. Oh, shit. I'm probably butchering that. And some vanilla with ginger root. So this thing got a lot going on. Some roasted mate, um, safflowers, and some artificial flavoring. There are some people who get annoyed a little bit with David's tea because they want it to be pure. They want it to be uh, fair, tr you know natural they don't want any extra um added certain things they do have teas that have less of the fill frills if you want to go there um it didn't bother me that's my personal thing on it um if I feel like it has too much going on, I just skip over that particular blend and find something else. Snow day is the other one and this is a peppermint leaves cocoa bean cocoa husk um, chocolate drops, chocolate pieces, sugar, sprinkles, peppermint, um, flavoring, natural chocolate and peppermint flavoring contains milk, cream, safflower, and et cetera. And so this is pretty much a pepper, uh, peppermint chocolate type of uh, blend. And both of those were from the winter, um, line. I was able to get uh, a Nordic mug and this only cost me $5 and it's of the penguin. So this is your little lid um, that you can put on your mug to allow it to, your teas to steep. It came or it comes with an infuser basket. And then I'm trying to get in here where you can actually see what the mug looks like. And this is one of their mugs that change uh, colors. So when it's warm, hold on, I'm going to pause. Okay, we're back. So... I have it all assembled here. So this is your lid. Basically, if for some reason you've never did this before, this dubs as your infuser basket holder. So once you have finished steeping your tea, then you can place the basket here and prevent it from making a mess. But this is also your lid cover to lock in the heat 
and to keep your tea uh, steeping or brewing at a particular temperature where it won't lose um, whatever you know degrees it'll con keep that contained within um, and yes this is supposed to be one of the color changing ones I really don't know what once it's all heated up and what have you it will do but yeah I thought it was very cute I also picked up a tumbler and this is for cold drinks this is a double wall um, thing I love it because it's pink and that it'll keep cold drinks cold for I believe about eight hours they do have information in here let me see if I can and so yeah when I'm going on my walks and what have you um, I tend to don't take a lot of things with me I try to keep it pretty clean so I don't have nothing prohibiting the walk this is just care instructions but I want to say I read on the site that it's stated it will keep your drinks cold for six or eight hours if I am mistaken I apologize but I do know that it, it should keep your drink colder than an hour and that's better than uh, most cups I also was able to pick up a tumbler and this tumbler gotta pause again is to keep cold and hot things at a certain temperature it has these beautiful uh, flex on it I just think they're so cute I like the color and this was around I don't know 10 bucks or so and their their tumblers normally run 30 and up it also has an infuser basket and um, it detaches from the lid here and it allows you to put your tea in lock it back into place and then you know steep on the go and that's what I wanted sometimes when I have errands I need to be able to just go with my tea now this third wheel comes from Walmart and it was eight dollars and uh, 68 cents something along those lines under nine and it has a similar concept it has a mesh basket inside it's double walled it's got a nice little you know body pattern thing going on now it doesn't give the same amount of time for cold or hot drinks as the David's tea tumbler but I think that if they are not having a promotion or a discount and you want one and you don't want to pay shipping and you don't want to pay 30 something dollars for a tumbler this could be an option for you and I just thought I would include it in this video and there's a little bit of information on it and that's the company that makes it and I found it in Walmart where you would find your uh, Contigo and other brand Aladdin and different ones your tumblers and your straw cups and stuff like that look there because the stores are catching on that tea is becoming a very hot trend or is a hot trend it's just as important as coffee and they're beginning to bring things into the store that allow us tea addicts to, um, you know, have our tea with us. Now, moving on to Tivana. Again, I lost some stuff. They did automatically refund me without me having to ask. Cocoa Caramel Sea Salt. I was able to get this for three, three or four dollars. Um, brewing instructions is on the back. This is two ounces of tea. This guy here, which I'm actually using right now, this mug comes from them. It's porcelain, and I can tell you, you can't put it in the dishwasher. You have to hand clean it. You don't want to use a sponge that's got too much of an abrasive. That's kind of how that go. And so, yeah, I have my tea going. And then I purchased a spoon. There was perfect spoon and it's right over here in another box but here that's the spoon now steep tea has a matcha spoon it has a, a pot spoon and different ones like that so i do want to acquire those as i go so that i do have the proper measurement based on what uh vessel that i'm using that's everything everybody have a blessed day thanks for watching peace